Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can land more dental clients for your dental practice without actually spending any money. Hey, very quickly, if you are struggling ranking your website on Google, maybe you are an e-commerce store trying to get more sales or potentially you might even be a local business trying to generate more leads for your company, check the link down below. I have helped businesses rank higher than the Google logo. Okay, that might have been a slight lag, but if you are looking to consistently grow your revenue month on month, check the link down below, fill in the form, see if my team can help you. Right, back to the video. So if you are starting off with a new dental practice, you might not have enough budget to actually market correctly your establishment, this is the video for you. And also some of you guys you might already have a more established business and this will still apply to you because you might not be doing everything that I'm gonna mention. So I'm gonna mention five ways that you can start doing um, marketing for free. Um, it just takes a little bit more time. So step number one or method number one is leveraging social media. Now I see a lot of dentists do very well with actually leveraging their Instagram, doing TikToks, doing shorts, doing podcasts. And that is a good way of marketing your business and also getting more clients through the door. Now, just a few rule of thumbs. What I would recommend is if you're gonna go down the shorts route or the reels route, if you're gonna be uploading to Instagram, I highly recommend getting together a plan um, and sticking to a consistent plan. Don't just think that if you upload two videos, you're gonna blow up and you're gonna have 600 patients walking in to your um, dental practice because that's not actually the case. What I typically like to do, very similar to what I've done with my YouTube channel, is put together like a daily or maybe twice a week or three times a week upload schedule. And the how I see it is the reason for putting together a schedule is first of all, you're gonna be able to hold yourself accountable. You're not just gonna upload one, um, one short or one video and then not upload for the next six weeks and then upload two and then not upload for the next two weeks and upload one. You just need a little bit of a consistent plan. It's kind of like going to the gym, I almost like to call it. Um, so what I would be looking to do is if you are uploading to Instagram, try to upload at least five times a week. If you're uploading to TikTok, people are saying a good rule of thumb is uploading twice a day. Now, in some cases that can, um, you might not be able to do that. If you are gonna go down this route, you might wanna record a lot of um, pre-recorded footage and then just schedule it. Um, that That's probably the best way that I could um, explain that to you. Um, like what I've done here, um, I'm probably gonna upload or I'm gonna record maybe nine videos in the one day. And then that means for the next nine days, I don't need to be sat in front of a camera. So just think of all these different ways. Method number two of free marketing for your dental practice is optimizing for local SEO. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that you have got some customers that have, or some clients that have actually used your service before. And if, say for example, you have some form of a CRM system, or potentially you have a load of emails with clients that you have worked with in the past, maybe you've done checkups, maybe they've come in for emergency um, appointments, or maybe you've done some cosmetic work, um, if you have a list of phone numbers, a list of emails, etc., a very good way of starting out is going over to Google Business. Um, if you haven't already set one up, set one up for your actual address and just message every single person or email them asking for a review. If you've done a good job, maybe they've uh, came in or I'm going to give you an example. Maybe Steve has come in for some teeth whitening and you whitened his teeth and he had a great experience. However, you just didn't ask him for a review. Getting some reviews will actually give more clout to your Google business profile. So whenever somebody is searching for dentists near me, then uh, there is a higher chance of your actual business showing up for that person. 
A, the third strategy that I like to do is building partnerships with other local businesses. And we actually done this for a recent dental practice. And basically what, what it entailed was um, <clears throat> the actual practice manager, they went out to a, another local business and they said, hey, you guys have, let's say, 50 staff in your office. If they all sign up to our dental practice, we'll give them 50% off on their first checkup. And basically it got a lot of businesses, or sorry, it got a lot of clients shifting from one dental practice to another. And that was a very good way of actually getting people in to that dental practice. So again, if you don't have any budget, that is another strategy that you can go down. You might wanna tailor that offer. You might wanna say, instead of giving a 50% off a free checkup, you might say, I'm gonna give 50% off their teeth whitening or whatever essentially suits your uh, business. Not every single offer that I mention in these videos, they might not always um, resonate with your business. You might say, well, actually, I'm gonna go down the checkups route or cosmetic den dentistry route, etc." So then another way of doing um, free marketing is referrals. Now, referrals is, um, I, I personally, um, it, it's a very good starting point, but it's never a way to grow a dental practice from earning, let's say, 50,000 a month to 100,000 a month. You need a consistent flow of inquiries. Um, now, referrals is a very, very good way of essentially uh, getting more people in. Um, but obviously you need to have a good experience. Um, the, the amount of people or the amount of dental practices that I've worked with in the past and they said that referral, that referral programs don't work. Uh, and if, if I'm being brutally honest, um, and this might be a little bit harsh, they just don't offer a really good service. Like for example, if you phone them, they just don't pick up. Um, there's no aftercare process, nothing like that. But I'm gonna assume that a lot of you guys watching this video, you have got a um, a good response rate. Um, you are actually replying to people when they are messaging you on Facebook or Instagram, or potentially even they might be phoning you and you're actually picking up that, that phone call and you're replying to people. If you're doing all of these things, they're, they're all small 1% improvements, but it can go a very long way. And the next time, let's say Steve gets asked, hey, what dental practice do you use? He's actually gonna recommend your dental practice. So that's again, another way that you can um, definitely improve your referral um, program as well. Step number five of actually getting more patients for free is engaging in communities. So for example, I remember when I was at school, like maybe 15 years ago, um, there was actually a dental practice that came into our school and they educated um, <clears throat> a lot of students, like how, how often you should brush your teeth, what fruits you should eat, what um, sweets you should avoid, etc. Um, so engaging in communities like that, that can definitely help. Now, would I engage in schools? It, it's a bit of a 50-50 area because what you need to also remember is if you're going to, let's say, three different schools, the decision maker of that child isn't actually in the room to say, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign them up to XYZ Dental Practice. So you, again, you need to think a little bit outside of the box. Um, another strategy that you can go down is if there are any um, social events happening where there might be the parents of the actual children um, attending that social event, you can definitely sponsor that event and it can definitely go in your favor. Whereas if you just go in blindly into a school, um, it's a little bit more of a, of a harder um, sell to get patients because again, you're, you're speaking to let's say a room of 10 year olds. A 10 year old isn't gonna say, actually I'm gonna go to XYZ dentist. Um, so just bear that in mind. What I would 
what I think is a, probably a better approach is, is attending the social events that the parents will actually be at. Potentially, you might need to sponsor some of those. But again, for a very, very low fee, you might be able to sponsor a kid's baseball game. Um, and again, w with a kid's baseball game, for example, you know that, first of all, the kid's going to be there. And second of all, the actual parent is going to be there as well. So it's, it's, it's kind of getting, you're bridging the gap. So that has been five ways to land more dental clients for your dental practice. If there are any that you feel like I have missed, feel free to drop them down in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys do want a free 15 minute growth strategy call for your dental practice, make sure to check the link down in the description or check out casual-dash.com. Thanks.